Hey, hi, how are ya? <laughs> ay, 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 it's Friday. Yes, we made it to Friday. Praise ye the Lord. Glory to God. It's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a long month. What's <laughs> today? Yeah, July 26th. It's been a long two months. My goodness. Lord have mercy. Please and thank you. Glory to God. <laughs> It's Stephanie Stallworth, ATL Traffic Lady, and move this microphone so I can sit back and chill with you. You're watching How We Flow Dot Today TV. How We Flow Dot Today TV. What up, though? Ay, ay, ay. I am just whoo, wiped out. Wiped out. But I'm good, though. God is still in the blessing business. My destiny is still on the way. Destiny Swappers be doggone. <laughs> you cannot win. It don't matter how close you get, you still won't win. And just know that if you did win and think you were getting my destiny, you're still not going to get my destiny. You're going to get some kiddie pool version of whatever could be left when the destined are not together, right? So, mm, it's no need to even waste your time and energy on that. I don't know why any of y'all waste your time with that mess. That's just a mess. I don't even want to look at it no more. I tell you that before. <laughs> I don't even want to see it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to stand in front of it. I don't want to sit under it. I don't want none of that. None of that. None of that. And I ain't coming back there. I ain't coming back no more. I ain't coming back there no more. No more. <laughs> to look at that mess. Till you clear the decks. My darling, you got to clear the decks. Because that is just not it. It is not a feather in your cap. It is not a good look. Mm-mm. No. So, I'm getting in here and I'm getting out. I don't feel like talking a long time today. <laughs> Am I on one today? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. I haven't had any rest the last couple of days. So, been under a lot of stress the last couple of days. Oh, and I got a replacement tire. My tire had a whole gash in it when I left church the other Sunday. What is that about? So, I was on my donut for a minute. And then I go get a tire tire replacement this week. You know, a gash in the sidewall. How does that happen, right? Don't matter. God is still on the throne. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. How y'all doing today? Y'all all right? Who's who and what is what? Where is where? When is when? Why is why? And how is how? What is going on with ya? Step away. Please step away. <laughs> From the cliff. <laughs> Cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. That's why it's called Cliffhanger. <laughs> My kids used to watch the show Between the Lions. L-I-O-N-S. They had a little uh, interstitial on their called cliffhangers can't hold on much longer oh and he's gone they, they, they sing their jingle cliffhanger hanging from a cliff and that's why he's called cliffhanger <laughs> and cliffhanger always falls off the cliff and it's a wrap and I know you're hanging on a cliff I told you they were going to push you off of it anyway so they did and now you're hanging on the branch on the edge of the cliff. Like, what? Can't hold on much longer. I'm trying to save you. Trying to help you. God trying to help you. Trying to guide you. Trying to trying to give you some assistance, some help. But you got to be willing to take the help. And then turn your back on all the mess that got you in that situation in the first place. Except on yourself because you made decisions to get there too. Don't turn your back on yourself. But turn your back on everything else. Everyone else. They got you hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Uh, right? Oh, you don't want to be cliffhanger anymore. Please don't be cliffhanger. Hanging from a cliff. Mm -mm -mm. You need to come see, see about your person. 
while they out here all by themselves. They ain't, ain't, your first ain't on no cliff. <laughs> See, they're not on a cliff, but they are hanging on. Can't hold on much longer either. Ain't, ain't on a cliff, but can't hold on much longer. Let's move on to move on to calmer waters or something. Sheesh. Better come see about see about me. Come see about me. Come on, Anita Baker. Come on, see about me. <laughs> Cause I keep a telling you I can't do, can't do without you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't ask me, don't ask me to. To do whatever, whatever, without you, love, without you, love. Don't ask me to do do anything without you. What are you doing? My goodness, that's why you're on a cliff, hanging off a branch, about to fall down and bust your buffers. <laughs> Cut it out already. What's the name of this video? Oh, let's see. Oh. How are you interpreting these things? How are you interpreting these things? What things, Stephanie? Whatever things God is placing right in your face. <laughs> are you interpreting properly? Can you hear it? Is it in some unknown tongue that you're hearing this in or what? Ask for, the, ask for the translation or the translator he sent to you to translate what's happening in your life, your person. You got to make a connection. I mean, you really just do. You deserve it. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve what's the best for the rest of my life. I deserve that. I had enough of what's the least for my life and the worst for my life. I deserve the best. You know, even if you weren't always the perfect one, so what? Flip the switch. Ask God for forgiveness and say, all right, Lord, I'm ready for your best now. Prodigal son's ready for the best. Shoot, I'm saying. You got people out there waiting for you. People's destinies are connected to you. And you are just holding back. Get you the leader. Come on and lead it. Lead that thing. God already had it set up. And you're going down some other path. That's why you're hanging off the cliff. People stab me in the back. With other people while they're supposed to be with you. Mm. Yep. Correct. Correct. It's absolutely right that's all they know how to be. That's all they know how to do. You know? And you worked so hard on yourself this last year. You're looking so amazingly good. You're looking hopeful, energetic, and yet you're still longing. (laughs) You're you're hanging from the cliff still, even though you got all this, this great healing in you. What is going on? Please step away from the cliff and the cliff pushers. That's why you're in the cliff hanging position. Because you let the people push you there. You know, looking good though. You got the joy of the Lord in your in your face and the, the lilt in your voice, the the uh, the glow on you and all of that. And that's not from the backstabbing cliff pusher. Even though people think it is, it ain't. You've been doing all this hard work. That's what it's from. Your person helping you do all this hard work. That's what it's from. And that's who makes you better, right? So don't get cliff hanging pushed into saying it's somebody else or into pretending that someone else is, is, is helping you in that space. Because if it's up to that person, You'd be in tears all day, every day, which you might be. So you got to come out in public and show up for yourself, show up for the people. What's it like at home? What's it really like? My home is peaceful. I don't suffer fools lightly. I don't fool around. I say what needs to be said. I speak the truth in love. And then I go home and I'm happy. I'm good. Now, could I be happier? Yeah, if my person would show up. But if they don't show up, God will send me somebody else, but that ain't what we want. What are we doing here? Cliff hanging? I ain't going to be hanging on no cliff. So 
So stop leaving me on the cliffhanger. On red. What they say on red? <laughs> Whatever that means. Because <laughs> I don't have an Apple. Nothing shows red on, on the Android. Not on my phone anyway. So, you know, what it is. How are you interpreting these things? That joy on your face, that look of love on you, you know where it comes from. And you don't, for one moment, let other people say they see it on you and then you not attribute it to the true source. That ain't fair. That's That ain't fair. That's a cliffhanger. <laughs> Got the person hanging on a cliff, trying to get us to hang on a cliff. This person on a cliff. Don't let your people hang on a cliff because you're not owning up to the truth. It's just not right. And it just prolongs the inevitable because what God said is what's going to happen. But again, dragging feet, scuffing shoes just makes it last longer in the agony. It makes you forced to stay longer in the kiddie pool because you won't level up. And every second that ticks by... You're never getting it back. It's over. That one's over. That second's over. This one's over. Those last two are over. He's not getting them back. Time's gone. It's gone. The older you get, the faster it feels like it goes. And all of a sudden, you're on that day where God calls you home. You're like, oh, wait. I was supposed to do something. <laughs> I didn't live my happiest life yet. My best life ever. My God-ordained uh, life with my, 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 with my person and all the, the destiny things that come with that and all the people I was supposed to bless through that connection and that destiny move. I didn't do it. God, I need more time. Beep. That's it. It's a wrap. So then you're going to be standing there explaining why you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Telling God why you didn't do what he told you to do. Why didn't you do what he told I was scared. So what? Fear not. <laughs> I, I was they were punching and pushing a knife in my back and twisting it if I didn't do what they said if I didn't smile the way they said smile if I didn't take these videos and pictures the way they want me to photo ops that I don't even need but they were going to harm me if I didn't they were going to tell all my secrets about myself to my face and to everybody else's face tell your own secrets I told you that back in January tell your own secrets and nobody can blow up your spot I think you know this, though. Maybe I'm preaching to the choir today. We've come a long way from January till now. However, January, February, March. So February, March, April, May, June, July. About two-thirds through, you got you fell off the cliff, man. You got pushed off the cliff. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? what am I looking at here? In May, I'm like, what? What? what are you doing? This can't even be real. And then the grand hoo-ha in your place of business about it. I'm like, okay, they really, they really playing in my face now. I see you. I see you. So I'm sure you've done some things to, to your person that you're not proud of. You just got to come clean and talk about it. And then you can move forward with them. But with your real person, but you know, you gotta say something. You can't just sit here and mom's the word. That is no way to operate. <clears throat> I know you might have been trained that way, brought up that way. That'd been the norm <clears throat> for the family, your societal norms, your familial norms, your friend group norms, your industry norms, but you are not made for the norms. You are made for extraordinary things. You're groundbreaking. You're not here to keep doing what people been doing. Whether it's about your children, whether it's about the uh, personal life and, and goings on with that and how you conduct yourself with people. You got to break that. You're breaking out of that. And you're going to create the blueprint print for the new way for people to do stuff. And you'll be the leader of that. And all your friends, all your cronies, all the people who's doing the same old undersided things that you may have done, you know. I don't need to mention them all here, but you know. Um, you'll show them there's another way. There's a better way. And that way does align with God. And honesty and transparency is, is the key. 
and people can people can overlook and forgive your honesty and your transparency as opposed to you hiding things and hiding people and acting like you only got a certain number of people when you got you know four more five more three more one more however many people you have that you've brought into the world right so you can't keep doing that no one can honor that God can't even honor that it's just not right so please come see your person it's only going to take one conversation it's going to change your whole perspective you will understand everything that you've misunderstood up until now you will everything will be unraveled you know the three card molly or the 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 three uh three shell game <laughs> they play on the street in the city and you get took every time because it's a mess in the game right but i'm gonna explain to you all about that and what the real deal is at which point you will no longer be fooled the illusion will be broken the illusion spells be broken the confusion be broken the the love spells broken the everything broken because I'm going to tell you what it really is because you should know by now that I'm going to tell what it really is in love in a loving way I'm not going to be blasting people blasting you out or whatever my person out I'm just going to talk to you in a loving kind way because that's what that's who I am that's what I do that's who God created me to be that's what I embody and I'm here to help I'm here to help you take the asterisk off of your legacy that's what I'm here for did you know that and not just that but to help you enjoy every moment of that afterwards right (laughs) I'm here for your peace for your for your serenity serenity now (laughs) said that on Jerry Jerry Seinfeld the father says serenity now (laughs) I used to live in this uh, place uh, on a road that like curved around. It was like a, it was like a, it was, the street was named Circle, something Circle, but it was like it curved. And so depending on which way I came in on the curve, it was almost like a U shape. And we lived at the bottom of the curve, right? So the way I came in on the curve, depending on which way I came in, I mean, it was a couple of miles of a curve, but until I got used to getting there, because the street name was the same on both ends of the curve. Like if you think of a U shape, both ends of the U, the street is still the same name. So depending on which one I come in on, if I'm going one direction or the other direction, my house is on one side or the other side until we got used to it. I'm like, wait, which ones are, and I drive right past our our new house. (laughs) I'm like, because I came in the opposite way because I was just getting used to it. And there was a street, uh, not a street, it was a subdivision nearby with Serenity on it. And so I'd be with the kids. They'd be like, wait, which way Which way are we going? Because we were just moving in there. And it was just like, like what? And I drive past the thing, and I'm driving, and I'm looking. I'm like, I see the sign that, that talks about the subdivision called Serenity. I'm like, Sir, I'm looking at it, Serenity? <laughs> and my sons would be like, Serenity? Wait, we got to turn around. <laughs> but we want Serenity. Serenity? <laughs> I was like, well, we passed our house. You didn't ride, rode past your stop. Your stop is at Serenity. What are you doing? (laughs) You're going to Circusville. Circus Circle. No. Your stop is Serenity. You missed your stop. And you keep going around this circle again and again with the same old mess. Cut. End scene. It's a wrap. You're better than all of that, right? Do you even know who you are? When you talk to me, I'm going to let you know who you are. Because I don't think people are letting you know who you are in the fullness of yourself. That's how God looks at you. That's how God lets me see you. The way he sees you. And I treat you as such. I treat you at the level that God sees you and created you to be. So I'm calling you up to this greatness. I'm not letting you stay in the kiddie pool. That's not my assignment. There might be other people's assignment from the enemy to keep you in a kiddie pool, keep you lower level, keep you attached to them so they could suck you dry, you know? That's what it is. I learn more and more each day about there's that kind of people out here. I don't embody that energy, so it's it's foreign to me how people could even be like that or think like that. But 
and say they love and serve the same God as you. Don't even let me get into that again. How they love and serve the same God that, that you serve and they don't want God's will for your life. Let's go back to that question. I don't want to go back to it, but I, I guess God said go back to that question. Ask these people who are telling you don't do what God said. Don't connect with who God told you to connect with. Don't love who God told you that is yours to love. Why don't they want what God said for you if they are serving the same God? If they're serving the same God, God gave them somebody. Whether they looked at it or not or decided it or not. It could be somebody for them too. But guess what? They can't have somebody else as somebody. They can't destiny swap. They can try. And they almost did it. You almost let them. I'm not going to sit here and be quiet about you doing that. Because that's my destiny too. So why would I let someone take my destiny away? Just because they're of their trickery. Or they don't want you to level up enough to, to know who you really are. Do you know who you are? Oh, I tell you, I don't think you scratched the surface of who you are. But when you connect in the way God wanted you to connect, told you to connect, created you to connect, set up the connection for you. When you do that, it's all going to change. You will never look back. You'll just be wondering, why was I so goofy to be accepting that kind of treatment from these people? Why did I think that they were for me and they weren't for me? They were for them. God gave you somebody who's truly for you. They're not in it for the things and, and the and the, the, the climbing and the cloud and the, you know, the photo. It's not for that. If you want your life to be a movie, cool. Your life to be a movie, even with your real person. But that's not what your person is here for. Because your person don't need all of that. And you don't need any extra photo ops. Because everybody knows who you are. I just said that in the last video. They know who you are. You don't need to be seen coming out of the whatever, whatever. For clout, you don't need that. You already are clout. You don't need someone else's influence. That's why I told you about ownership in the platform. I got the streaming service. This is for you, Dr. Brian. I got the streaming service that's been sitting on autopilot since 2021. We're at our three-year anniversary now that I've been offering this to you that you can level up. And it is secu it will secure your, your future financially, but you won't do it or they won't let you do it. I don't know what that is. But last time I spoke to somebody at your place of business about it, told a group of people about it. They're like, well, what's, what is the reach? I said, there is no reach. It's on autopilot. My mother died and I am not even doing anything with it, but it's there. And you don't need other people's influence because you are the influence, sir. I said this before about the ownership. Yeah, you're on so-and-so's platform. Yeah, you're on such-and-such such platform, but that's their platform. And who benefits from you being on their platform the most? They do. But here, God gave you your own platform. Three years ago, 36 months ago. And you still are trying to be on somebody else's platform. Why? You're the influence. You're the influence. Some of the team is not the team. And some of them are the team. But a few close ones are not the team. my assignment to help you take the asterisk business line up all the littles and the big littles the grown littles and the, and the, the little littles oldest to youngest and say these are my people this is my family and that's what God's requiring of you no one wants to see anyone acting like they just only have a certain number when they have more I don't know what the arrangements are with, with the, the the other, you know, caregiver, but parent, whatever. But no, just imagine, just for anybody, just imagine, maybe it's happened to people who are in, in this community, that you're in a family and you are not acknowledged publicly by your your parents. Your siblings are but you're not. How would that make you feel? Marginalized. And maybe that happened and maybe that's why you think it's okay. I don't know. But I'm just saying this for anybody. 
If you want to be a generational curse breaker, I'm speaking the truth in love today. Okay, so I'm a, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the second video I've done on streaming on here, and uh, it just stopped. Well, it didn't stop because StreamR kept going. But my computer said, uh uh, ain't doing it. <laughs> and where was I? I guess I would lighten it up because I guess I was getting too heavy, getting too, getting too strong with you. Strong with it. Too strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I just need a confidential conversation with some people here with my people with my person I'm just trying to help I'm here to help I'm here to help but it's time to break the generational curses okay that's it line all of the people up that are yours that come from your loins all of them acknowledge all of them publicly regardless of whatever agreement you have with their people or what it, whatever you told people to agree to, what it, I don't even know what it is because I don't understand it because I ain't never seen my life be like that. But it stops here. We're asterisk kicking. <laughs> kicking asterisks off your name. Kicking asterisks off your asterisks off your legacy, okay? Kicking asterisks, asterisks off of your generations that have come from you, right? And we're starting a new healthy way of being and doing. That's how we float out today. That's what we do. We're doing our destiny uh, existence, not some um, altered existence that God doesn't smile on. And it only continues to hurt the people that you're supposed to love. Right? And I'm saying this to you because I'm here to help you. It's my assignment. And I take my assignment seriously. So I love you. I'm going to be rocking with you forever. Always on your side. Always trying to level you up and help you get better. Always cheering for you. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I'm with you like that. Whatever you've done, thought about doing, said, hindered in the connection, don't matter to me. Tell me what it is. And then we move on forward and, and, and do what thus saith the Lord. But the same thing I'm saying right now to you about doing this for your own family and stopping the generational curse or curses or the generational um, norms in the way that people think, uh, yeah, the way that people worry more about what other people think about their situation and about them than worry about what harm they're doing to their own generations that came from their loins, right? The public image is more important than the actual people in the family? No. A lot of people believe that. A lot of people live that, but no. God is not saying that that is how it should be. And I'm, I'm working here in my assignment. I don't want to talk about it. If you would just have a conversation with me, I would just talk to you on one-to-one. -one. But I ain't no way to reach you. So, hey, if you're reaching me, I ain't heard nothing. There's mess in the game. We told you that long ago. Uh, that's why it has to be face-to-face because, -face, you know, all your communication channels are, are monitored. And um, what do they call it? Um, <laughs> uh, protocoled. <laughs> too much protocol. Too much layers. Too much ownership on you. Okay, I don't need to go through the ownership layers. I just need to speak to you directly. And I think I could at least get that from you after all this time. All of this, right? I've rocked with you since day one. Just on the strength that our families knew each other. On the strength of uh, our AME church uh, connection. On the strength of... I look at people how God sees them. And then ultimately on the strength of what happened the first time I showed up at your place on your first day that you, you, you were there as your official capacity. When I got knocked out in the spirit, slain in the spirit, and, and everything went quiet. And then I hear, this is 
is yours. This is yours. The first time I ever showed up in, at that place. you never been there before. Never intended to go there. Uh, it wasn't the church I went to. It wasn't the place I usually go and fellowship. None of that. But I came there to, to, to support you. And then when I got there, that's what happened. That's in the last video. I hope you watched it. Well, actually, it's not in the last video. It's in the video. I sent you a video. I forget what it was called. I'll find out. I'll tell you the name of the video to look for on my YouTube, okay? Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL Traffic Lady channel on YouTube. But I, repo I resent the video. I don't know if I reposted it, but I resent it to you. To your number and on your Insta. I don't know if you even look at your stuff or people let you look at your stuff. Or you don't want to look at yourself. Who knows? Only God knows. I don't know. I'm just here doing what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm just out here trusting God. That's all I'm doing. Looking crazy while I do it, but I don't care. Because when God asks me, did I do what he said to do? I'm going to say, yes, absolutely. Did I back down? No. When the going got tough, did I get going to leave? No, I stayed and I hunkered down. And I pushed even more into my purpose, right? And so I want you to be able to say the same doggone thing, the same thing. I want you to be able to say the same thing, right? So let me see what this one's called. Uh, the video that I sent you. Let's see, I sent you through the fire. Love is found by your side. I don't know if it was that one. And then, um... No, it wasn't that one. It was another one. It was the other one where I talked about uh, the flow and stuff. Let me see. I'm trying to look on my phone and see what I've sent your way. I don't know if you can get it and stuff. There's so many layers of foolishness over there. I, I can't with it. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. But yet I can because that's what I, I got to do. I just got to do it. I'm trying to help. I'm here to help. I always tell you, I'm here to help. So whether you never communicated with me or you ever communicated with me, I ain't heard nothing because I cannot get through. I communicate with you every day through all the channels that I know of. And I don't know if it ever gets through or if you didn't even wanna, don't want to hear it. I don't know. So the clarity is key. And I'm going to need you to clarify for me what this is. And you can say, look, I ain't doing none of that. But you better tell me that face to face, because I, then I'll know it's you, and not the manipulators of you. You don't want to, you don't want to rock with it. Fine, but let me know. Look at me right in my eyeballs and say that's what you don't want to do, and I'll accept that. But getting a message from me, which I haven't even gotten, but if I get a message from you that says it, I'm not going to trust the message, because it's too many handlers, right? Too much mess uh, it's been years of mess right and so if you come and tell me listen Steph you know I don't, I don't want to move forward with what, what we're talking about here but you're telling me yourself I see your own mouth moving to say it and you're not AI <laughs> generated <laughs> then I'll be like okay cool God will send a replacement and I did my part I will never have any regrets. God will never be upset with me for not doing what he said to do. And then I'll walk away from it. But unless I hear it and see it from you, that you don't want that thing to, to be what God said, then I, I got to keep talking about it until there's nothing else to talk about. So, again, I don't feel like making videos. I do for the community, but not to talk about this stuff. I got other stuff. I got other people to help. <laughs> so, so I'm not going to waste all my time helping somebody who doesn't even want to be helped. You understand? And I'm not mad about it. Not at all. I'm happy to help. But if you don't want to receive the help or you're not ready to receive the help, then okay, just say so. But saying nothing is not the answer. Playing in my face is not the answer. And holding in your uh, your emotions is not the answer. 
Because again, that thing's going to bust out one day. You ain't going to be able to control it. God showed me a vision of what is going to happen when it busts out. <laughs> and it's going to take everybody by surprise, including you. So, you know, God's been rocking with me in this whole, this whole journey. He shows me stuff. Whether it be in dreams, visions, whatever. He lets me know what's really going on behind the scenes around you. Which is why I'm trying to help you clear the entities and individuals that are not there to to help you because illusions are set up and, and, and you're part of it sometimes because that may just be the way that you chose to, to engage with people or were taught to engage with people or you couldn't make decisions for yourself because you had controlling uh, friends, family, whatever and it happens but what I'm just saying is Let's break the generational curse right now. Today. Today is Friday, July 26, 2024. We're more than we're almost in the eighth month of the year. We're almost into one year of how we float out today, the community. We're into almost one year of flipping our switch and leveling up, which we did last September 1st, where we start talking about it in the end of July and August of last year. And you're right there. I'm looking at you. I see you at the end of the walkway. And I just need you to walk up the walkway, <laughs> come to the door. And Diane Reeves said, come in. You've been away too long. You've been away too long. You come up on year six. How long? How long? You said a sermon one day, uh, Pastor Brian. How long you been this way, right? And I'm asking, how long are you going to be like this? It won't always be like this. It won't always be like this, right? Sooner or later going to turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. I believe that. Do you believe God? Who do you believe? Who do you believe? Do you believe the people around you or do you believe God? Do you believe friends and family who are keeping you from what God said or do you believe God? Who do you believe? You don't have to believe me. I don't care if you believe me. Because again, people's opinion of me is none of my business. I want God's opinion of me to be right. And I want my opinion of me to be right. Anybody else doesn't matter. But who do you believe? Outside of what they might think of you when you believe something new and different and better for yourself. We've always been doing it like this. Why are you going to change up now? So what? Change is good. It's one constant thing out there. And people holding the reins. Hold them back. Hold them back. He's a bucking Bronco trying to get up out of here. We can't. Restrain him. Restrain him. Get more ropes. Tie him up. Confuse him. Knock him on his head a few times. Push him off the cliff so he becomes cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. That's why he's called cliffhanger. And you're sitting there wishing you would jump. Not off the cliff, but into your destiny. And the branch you're holding on to is steadily getting weaker and breaking and you and you like cliffhanger saying can't hold on much longer and you can't hold on much longer how long you gonna stay like that i'm not fussing but i get excited when i'm trying to tell you what it is god wants to know how long my child (laughs) let's see if i find cliffhanger cliffhanger is from between the lions if you have children that are in their early 20s. They might have watched this show on PBS, uh, children's show on PBS called Between the Lions. And they had, uh, it was a great show. Uh, had live action, some animation, some a uh, little bit of everything, all, all sorts of learning, all sorts of everything. And so um, you may know Between the Lions on PBS. So um, let me see if I find Cliffhanger. He says, Cat. Hold on much longer. How long can you hold on, my dear? It can't be much longer. Can't be longer. You're you're getting weak with that thing on you. Right? That thing is on you. That thing is still on your back. It was on your back at the anointing service dragging you down. 
And that's their job to drag you down. They've been sent by somebody else to distract you from your God-given destiny. Do you understand that? It's hard to see. That's why I got to keep saying it. I don't say it as much as I should. But some people are sent into your life to distract you from what God really has for you. Shiny, beautiful looking things that are hollow and empty on the inside. I had a whole word for that yesterday. One of my students was talking about it. They have the vocabulary app on their phone and different new words come up on their phone all day. <laughs> and I got to think of what the word is. If I think of it, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. If not, I'll tell you in the next video. But some people are sent on assignment, whether they know it or not. They might think they're doing the right thing. But the people around you, they know they're not doing the right thing because they're in it for themselves. They're not in it for you. But some people who are in it for you might be uh, sent to do something to distract you from what God really has for you because the enemy knows what comes with what God has for you. And if you walk in your true destiny, how powerful everything becomes. You think it's powerful now? No, you ain't scratched the surface. You haven't seen. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Nor has it entered the mind. Listen, you you should try God on that thing. And that's on God. <laughs> Dr. Brian, you, you do on God every morning on my on my station, V103. I listen to it every morning, 6 a.m. and uh, 9.50 a.m. So 9.50, they play the new one for the day. 6 a.m. the next morning, 6.06 or something. When Big Trigger Morning Show comes on, they play the one from the day before in case you missed it. In case you missed it. And it's called On God. And at the end you say, and that's on God. All right? And that's on God. What is to come is going to blow your socks off. And I know you like socks. <laughs> And one time you had a peek of these green socks, peek it out. Boo! When you got the glory, you jump up and there we see the green socks. Green for glory. <laughs> green for glory. But I'm just saying, listen, honey, I, I'm, I'm trying to help you. And I'm not tired yet, but I'm just ready to do something different if, if this is not going to happen. So, you know, you got to let me know. I'm sitting here waiting. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to go to my destiny. And the question is, are you ready? Because if you're not ready, or you're ready but you're not going to do it, your destiny swapper will drag you into another destiny that's not God-ordained and is not what you're going to want. And they're going to push you off the cliff, steal everything that you've built, and they're going to rule the world, <laughs> rule your world, and you'll be gone. And they'll say, oh, he wanted me to have all of this. He wanted me to do this. This was, this is what he said. His plans were lies. They tell lies. The lies they tell. <laughs> oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. And some people are expert web weavers, expert manipulators. That's what they do. And they're so good at it, you can't even tell. I don't mean just you. I mean anybody. Unless you get an intuitive nod from God that says, listen, I need you to look at this thing. And I really think you see it, but you're just not sure how to free yourself. I believe you. I, I see it in you that, that you're, you got something different going on this last week or so. And thanks be unto God. I still believe God about it. I still have faith in it. And I know it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when, not if, when. And how much damage will you have to have done to yourself before it happens? Or will you just stop the whole circus today? Stop the circus. It's over. Peter came. And they said, we're not training. We're not going to be doing any more horrible training of animals, right? <laughs> we're not going to do any more horrible treatment of people. It's over. The circus is over. We don't do circus, circus tricks anymore. No more circus animals tricks. No more manipulating uh, things of people and entities, right? Uh, perfectly, perfectly um, innocent individuals. No more manipulating them to do tricks. Jump through a hoop. They got you jump through hoops, man. You better smile. You better do this. You better look like you love me. If you love them, you would look like you love them without them having to show everybody that you got to look like you love them. I'm speaking the truth in love. I'm sorry. I don't even feel like talking. 
I didn't even want to come on here today. But God said, I got to do this today. I don't know what's going to happen tonight or what's happening this weekend or whatever. I don't even know. But whenever he tells me I got to do this today, something big kicks off that night. That's awful in your existence. And so I'm being obedient and I'm doing it today. And I hope you hear it and I hope you listen to it. And I hope you shut down the circus. Send all them circus performers free to go do whatever they want to do somewhere else. But they are no longer in your space, in your face, in your place, in your energy, no influence on you. And when you're somewhere, they're not. They're not allowed to even be there. So if you're both speaking somewhere, you ain't speaking where they speaking. You don't interact anymore. They're written out of they're written out of your script of your life. It's over. They've done you wrong. You might have done them wrong too. They should be writing you out if they if you did them that wrong. Shucks. We don't have a right to do people wrong. It's not why God put us here. I know it's not popular to people who do people wrong. But there's another way to be. And no, I'm not naive. I'm not um, green and don't understand anything. I understand it all. I might not say it all. I might not even look like I understand it all. But trust me, I know more than what you think I know. I know more than what they think I know. I understand more than what they think I do because I was forced to have to understand it because I'm looking at what's really going on here. And I'm like, well, how, why are people like that? And I'm like, because people are like that. They're either like that because they're like that. They're like that because something happened to them traumatically that made them like that. They're like that because uh, the enemy's using them to be like that and they don't even know it. Any number of reasons why people are not good. And you just have to choose what is right and good. Do what is right and good. So today, I want you to do what is right and good. Do what is right and good. Do the right thing for one time this month. Do the right thing. One time today, maybe. You might be doing right things. I can't say that because I don't know everybody's right thing. But for the first, second, or fifth time today, do what is right and good. All right? Contact people you need to contact. Stop trying to hide behind whatever. Stop trying to think, oh, they're not going to, they're going to, they're going to hear from you. They are going to accept your, your uh, communication. They are going to interact with you and engage with you because that's what they want to do. And if you have to reach out to people who don't want to, they're not going to because they don't want to. But me and my destiny, I want to interact with my destiny. And I'm sitting here waiting because I have no way to get to it. You got levels and layers of all kind of (laughs) hoo-ha I'm just like child I ain't gonna act a monkey I'm just gonna sit here and let God bring it to me because there's nothing else I can do I can speak the truth in love but I ain't ain't gonna be pushing up on nobody people gotta make their own decision when they make their decision right you gotta do it in your own time that's like forcing your child to go and do a certain you better go be a doctor you better go be a lawyer you gotta you can't do it. You can, but you can't. But people do it. But they got to do what they want to do. Because otherwise, they're just going to resent you later. Oh, I really wanted to go um, be an artist. I really wanted to go teach children. But they made me be a lawyer or a doctor or a preacher or this or that. Because they were. Because they only had certain things that they thought were worthy. But that's not true. That's it. true in their mind. But in the greater scheme of things, that's not true. There are people who operate that way. But in the greater scheme of things, there are many people who don't operate that way. And you don't have to just because you were taught that. That's why we flipped the switch. So I'm preaching to the choir. I know y'all already rocking like Steph. We already know this. Like, okay, good. Then you tell two friends and they'll tell two friends and so on and so on and so on. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm doggone serious about this. I don't want to be on here. I am tired. I've had like four hours of sleep in the last two days. I'm exhausted. I was tired. <laughs> I was on, and that's on, that's on a hundred. <laughs> I am just like, who, what, where, where, why, and how? Could I just go to sleep all day? I think I'm going to go out tonight to uh, this thing in, in the city. So... I think our I think a lot of our folks from the church will be there. 
So if you see me there, come talk to me. Doc, if you see me there, come talk to me. All right. I just need to, I just need to be in face to face in a true, honest, <laughs> unhandled uh, conversation. <laughs> it's handled. I've been watching Scandal all over again. <clears throat> you know, with Olivia Pope. <laughs> I watched episode one. It's handled. <laughs> I don't want you to be handled anymore, okay? You're you a whole free individual in this world. You do not need to be handled. You can handle yourself. Even though people act like you can't, or maybe you want people to handle it so you don't have to think about it. But you got to watch who you let handle it so you don't have to think about it because they're thinking about it and they've taken advantage of you. Plus, you know, that person you, you rocking with, you've been rocking with, they are not loyal. They got other people that they are hooking up with. Trust and believe. You don't got to believe it, but I hope you understand that's what it is. It's with you for the money and the and the status, and it's with somebody else for the other stuff. They could you for the other stuff too. But trust me, you ain't the only one. All right, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just, I'm annoyed at talking about the whole thing. I'm annoyed at talking about the whole thing. Why am I so annoyed at speaking about the whole thing? I guess I've been talking about it long enough. I'm expecting some ACT, ION action. Would you please take action? Please take action. All right, I'm going to play a little bit of Cliffhanger from The Adventures of Cliffhanger from Between the Lions. Let me see if I can share. Let me see how to share this. Hang on move up here oh let's see let me pull this share screen thing together hopefully it'll work and then I'm gonna mute my mic so you'll be able to hear it without me talking over it but it's from between the lions cliffhanger the mole and the rope is this particular episode <laughs> and cliffhanger hanging from a cliff and that's why he's called cliffhanger and they pushed you off the cliff God allowed you to grab onto this uh, branch on the edge of the cliff down the side of the edge of the cliff but you cliffhanger is like can't while the branch is breaking can't hold on much longer (laughs) cliffhanger hanging from a cliff and that's why he's called cliffhanger so We're going to check out Cliffhanger. Let me move this uh, overlay out so I can pull that video up for you. But yes, okay. I love you so much. God bless you. Love you. See you. Love hug pats. Love hugs pats. All of that. 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 You're doing great. I'm not fussing at you. I'm just trying to bring some things to clarity so you can actually make true and honest good decisions in your life. Because your whole life is about to change. If you just make that one decision, you had the one conversation, it's all the way up from there. I don't even know what you're waiting for. Don't be scared, Twan. You're scared, Twan. Was that from, uh, <laughs> everything reminds me of everything. It reminds me of a song. Reminds me of a show. <laughs> reminds me of a story. <laughs> you ever be singing songs and talk about shows, whether it's kids shows, grown up shows, whatever. This was, uh, Keenan Ivory Way and show was that called It Live in Color. You scared, Twan. Don't be scared, Twan. Don't be scared. Go do that doggone thing. Shucks. If God said it, I believe it. That settles it. Yeah, All right. I'm going to share the uh, cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. And that's why he's called cliffhanger. Yeah. So it's between the lions, cliffhanger, the mole and the rope. This is one of the many episodes 16 years ago. So 16 years ago, my kids were, I don't know, eight, seven, and three (laughs) so we watched uh cliffhanger on between the lions on pbs award-winning reading show between the lions like you know read between the lines this is the show is called between the lions and it was lions that were on there lion puppets and stuff i don't know if you're of a certain age and your children are of a certain age in the 2008s and 2009s (laughs) then You know about Between the Lions. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go just play. It's only a minute and 53 seconds. So let's watch Cliffhanger. Look at him. Look at him. That's you. Well, I don't want it to be you, but it's about to be you. They already kicked you off the cliff. 
make you walk the plank. But they're the scurvy pirate, not you. You're the knight in shining, shining armor. I'm the queen. All right. Oh, and, and then the movie from Shrek. You think Shrek is your one true love? Donkey says, you think Shrek is your one true love? Feel that Princess Fiona is like, yes. Shrek is my one true love. So wake up. Let's get this thing done. Um, okay, so let's see. I'll make it full screen there so you guys can see. This is uh, Between the Lions is the name of the show from PBS. It's a reading show for kids. And one of the interstitials they had, little, uh, you know, things they did in between their uh, parts of their segments of their show was Cliffhanger. And this one's called Cliffhanger, the Mole and the Rope. All right. I'm going to turn off the background music so you can hear it. And I'm going to mute my mic and I'm going to play it. And by the end, you'll be saying, can't hold on much longer. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> here we go. I can't hold on much, on much longer. I'm so tired. My voice is it's going away. It's just going away. It's enough talking. Somebody. I'm about to wrap it up after this. I love you, though. I love you. I, I just want the best for you. I want God's best for you. I want God's best for me. I want to see what thus saith the Lord and what that's going to look like because it is, it's going to be mind-blowing. And I don't know why somebody wouldn't want to do it. I would leave people in the dust to go do what God said. I think you need to do that. But I digress. All right, let me mute my mic and we'll play Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. <laughs> Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing, daring, and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, episode 9000, Cliffhanger, the Mole, and the Rope. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger! Excuse me! Excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff notices a very large mole popping out of a hole and holding one end of a rope. Cliff gropes around in his backpack and extracts his trusty survival manual. Using his noted decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you notice a mole holding one end of a rope, ask him to throw you the other end. I hate to impose, Mr. Mole, sir, but might you please be so kind as to throw me the other end of your rope? <laughs> I shall do what you propose. Is this the moment Cliff has hoped for? Mr. Mole, sir, I want to express my gratitude for your extraordinary kindness. Oh, you're welcome. In fact, since you've enjoyed receiving the end of my rope so much, I've decided to give you the whole rope. I'm at the end of my rope. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. So what did Cliffhanger go and get out? His survival manual. What's your survival manual? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Come on, get your survival manual out. My darling. And your fake person is the mole who acting like they want to help you. Trust, they don't want to help you. And what did they do at the end? <sighs> he read the survival manual. And perhaps it was an altered version that the, the mole gave him, right? <laughs> it wasn't the true and living God's Bible because that's not who that, <laughs> that fake person serves. <laughs> so let's go back. So he's here with the survival manual and he's pulling it out while he's hanging on the cliff and he's reading it. If you notice a mole holding one end of a rope, ask him to throw you the other end. 
Help me out here is what you're saying. And they're going to act like they're helping you. I didn't even know this was an episode, but this, this applies. This tracks, right? This will preach, Doc. So he said, ask him to throw you the other end. And so believe it that they were well-intentioned person slash mole slash fake person. The one who's backstabbing you and pushing you off a cliff. Please, dear mole, would you please? I noticed you have a rope. Please put the end of the rope down so I can be saved from this peril that you constantly have me in. And what does the mole do? Sure, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. I'll gladly send you the rope. So I'm gonna give you false hope. Look at him, giving him the rope. And Cliffhanger is so excited, like, yes, finally, I'm getting off of this cliff. You've been on a cliff for a long time. How long? You've been this way. And you're climbing up the rope that they're giving you. It's rope, rope enough to choke you. Rope enough to hang you. Or rope enough for them to let the other end go. In fact, I'm so happy to help you, the fake person says. With one end of the rope, I'm going to give you both ends of the rope. Woohoo! And they're happy to do so. What happens then? I'm at the end of my rope. So what does he have to do? This is you. This is what you got to do. Then you got to get back on that cliff again, hanging from that broken branch that you can't hold on to much longer. Please, please, please. Take this, take this, uh, <laughs> as a story I say, I saw some olive branches. Take this olive branch, this, this uh, olive branch where you can get some oil on you because ain't no oil on that mold. My gosh. Let's see what they say. Can't. Can't hold oh. on oh. much longer. You can't hold on much longer. You're about to, you're about to drop. It's going to be a wrap, right? So I'm trying to help you before you get dumped off the cliff. And you are not the road runner who survives everything. You the coyote who gets off the cliff and he's done, smashed to smithereens every single time. And the people that are around you, some of them are the mole. They act like they're there for you and they are not. They are there for their own nefarious reasons. And they're in cahoots with each other to control your life. I don't care if it's friends, family, coworkers, your team. I don't care who it is. Whoever it is, that's what it is. Okay? I know for sure who some of them are, some I don't know. All of them. I suspect. I, I dare not say. But I suspect. So, listen. Can't hold on much longer. These moles are not here for you. They're going to act like they're helping you. God, this was a perfect uh, cliffhanger episode. <laughs> they're going to act like they're helping you. They're going to look like they're helping you. Oh, let me get you this rope. Let me help save you. Here you go. Oh, thank you for giving me this end of the rope. That means so much. Oh, I'm happy to give you the end of the rope, your fake person says. In fact, I'm so happy to give you one end of the rope. I'm going to give you both ends of the rope so you can fall down and I can control all of your stuff. You'll be gone, right? And that's what they want, full control, plus the influence that you have been providing to them by access to you, especially in this last month or so. Oh, my gosh. Everywhere you're taking them, they're just climbing. And eventually they're not going to need you because they've climbed into these other people's spaces at levels that they don't even belong in. They can't maintain in because they're a fake false person, right? And eventually they're seen through to be the mole that they really are. And that's what it is. I don't want to talk no more. But who we child, next time you see me. If you ever see me again, you need to have a conversation. I'm not coming up to uh, your place of business ever again until such time that that situation is long gone. And you tell me that situation's over and it's gone, I'll come back. I'm not coming back till then. I promise you. It's not what I want. It's what it is. I'm not going to subject myself to getting both ends of the rope. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little help here. Give me a little help here. I'm helping you help me. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. Pray for me to get to my destiny, right? 
So we each help the other. Iron sharpens iron. And when the mole sharpening iron with another mole, it's just to shank you, shank you in the back, take all your stuff and leave you for Ed Day, right? <laughs> leave you for gone, leave you for unalived. It's it. It's a wrap. They're like, finally, we conquered this one on to the next victim because that's what they do. They might not, they might wish they weren't like that, but they can't help be like that, being like that. And maybe they think that's the only way to be because that's what they learn. I don't know. But you don't belong around them. You got a destiny on your life and you're messing it up with these kiddie pool people. And I'm not fussing. I'm just talking. I'm not fussing at you. I love you too much to, to, to just let you sit here and do this, okay? And I think you understand it. I really think I see some changes in you that you're ready to, to do what you do what must be done. But I hope that you are. Do right by your person. Don't do right by the people who aren't doing right by you. Not that you can't do right by people who don't do right by you, but they're not your people. Sometimes people make a mistake and don't do right by you or they, they, they don't do right. But if it's a consistent pattern, peep the patterns, man, peep the patterns. And not just patterns with you, patterns with previous people, people that you know, people that was your friends. They did the same thing to them. People you don't know or you might know same industry as you because they are looking for something. Juanita Bonham said it that Christmas sermon she did at New Birth a couple years ago. Talking about shapeshifters. Looking for the next big preacher because that's what it is. Wear your tight, sexy clothes, da da da, whatever she said. Go look at that sermon. It's called Shapeshifters. Juanita Bonham at New Birth. I think it was Christmas Day 2021 maybe. It wasn't, wasn't 2022. It definitely wasn't this year. It might have been 21 into 22. Yeah, I think it was 21 into 22 because my mom was still living then. Honey, if you listen to that in the context of what I'm talking about with you here today and not in whatever context you heard it the first time, you understand what I'm trying to tell you because she already done said that thing. That's before, before I was ever talking about anything. But she says it so specifically and distinctly and straight up so go back and look at that my dear you'll understand and then you will level up <laughs> you'll come off of that cliff and the two ends of the rope you come up with a solution for yourself and then you'll go where God said to go because God already has a solution he already has the way, way of escape like what are we even doing do you even believe God I hope you do if you believe him even if it's hard you go do what he said because he's going to do what he said. God will do just what he said. He'll do just what he said. Write the vision. Make it plain. God, what's that song? It is so. It is so. And I'm going to rap. It is so. If you have siblings or cousins or uh, friends and your kids and, you know, you might bicker a little bit. It is not. It is so. It is not. It is so. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. It is not. It is so. Are you saying to God, what he's saying is not, it is not God. It is not. This is your destiny. I have for you. It is not. And I'm sitting here saying it is so. And you're saying it is not. I don't believe it. That's why I'm not doing it. And God is saying, Stephanie, what is it? And I'm saying, well, God, it is so. I believe God. God, I believe you. I don't know if they believe you. They don't act like they believe you. But they hadn't been acting like they believe you, especially when they did this last couple of things in May. Like, what? You don't believe God at all. <laughs> no matter what it looks like, I still believe God. No matter what a gut punch it is, I still believe God. And I believe God put in you enough strength to realize you deserve better. And to go for the better, no matter who doesn't like it. Because God likes your better. And you like your better. They don't have to like it. They don't like it because... Your person can, your person knows what's going on and they're going to peep you to all these people's games. I don't care if it's friends, family, whomever, coworkers, whatever. The blanket's going to be pulled back. Layer by layer, we're going to see what's going on and you're going to know. And then the jig is up. And that's why they don't want you in your divine destiny. Not because they think that 
uh, your your true person is not good for you. They think they're so going to be so good for you. They're going to they're going to clear the air. They're going to blow the smoke out of there, and suddenly you're going to see everything. Smoke screen gone. Everybody's a mole. Not everybody. <laughs> everybody out. Everybody out. <laughs> Remember that video? <laughs> I made a video about my sweet 16 birthday party. And, um, you know, people just came in from uh, the neighborhood and from a couple other neighborhoods. I didn't know everybody in there and it was getting too crowded. And, and my dad came in and said, all right, it's too crowded in here. He stopped the party right in the middle of the party. It's too crowded in here. This is Stephanie's party. And it's for Stephanie and her friends. Who in here don't know Stephanie? And everybody was quiet as a mouse. Who in here don't know God? <laughs> you can ask these people. Or who in here ain't for, you know, you, right? Ain't for this person. And everybody quiet. Because I'm saying those people aren't for you. And you ask them if they're for you, they're going to be quiet. Be like, yeah, well, I, I'm for you, of course. And only one person going to say, well, I don't know Stephanie. But everybody else is quiet like they like they know me. Everybody else is quiet when you question them like they're really for you. Like, I don't know, know what you mean. They don't know what they're talking about. Look at me. You've been knowing me for years is what they're telling you. We've been doing this forever. You know I'm here for you. I got you. In fact, one of your people said, I got you, Stephanie. I got you. And I'm looking them dead in their eye. I'm like, something don't even look right about them when they say that. I don't know if I believe them or not. I always believe them. This is your friend. But at that point, I, I think I started to stop believing them. And you have to start stop believing these people. Because my dad did not believe that all those other people in here, in there knew me. One person said, out of 100, I don't know Stephanie. I don't know, 50, I don't know, 30, I don't know how many people were there. I don't know Stephanie. He was like, oh, all right, all right. Everybody else in here knows Stephanie? Everybody else in here knows Stephanie? All right, all right. Everybody out. Everybody out. <laughs> so you got to clear the next. Oh, everybody, who who in here is not for me? And you might get one Judas that says, I'm not for you. Oh, okay. And you know there's more. Oh, okay. So everybody else in here for me? Everybody else in here is for me? When you don't act like it, you don't look like it. And now that I'm seeing what's going on, it ain't so. All right, all right. Everybody out. Everybody out. You clear the party like my dad did. Clear out the room. And I was devastated. If you didn't hear me tell the story. I'm like, oh my God, it's my sweet 16th birthday party. And he, he canceled the party right in the middle of it. Everybody out. And they went out. They all outside. And then my dad said, just like your heavenly father is saying to you, all right, Stephanie. All right, my child, your heavenly father is saying to you, to my person over here, go out there and invite the people in that you want in your party. And then the party may continue. So to you that I'm speaking to, clear the room, everybody out. And then you go and you invite the people back in that you really know that you want there and that are there for you. Even if you want them there, they might not be there for you. You got to, you got to vet this thing. Right. And so I went out and said, okay, you can go back in quietly. I picked the people I wanted. You can go back in. You can go back in. I didn't say, everybody go back in. No, they're not allowed in anymore. They can't come to your party. It's over. I'm not fussing. I'm just speaking to you about this in just a very straightforward way. But it's over. They they, they got to go. The ones that are doing all that. They don't, they don't know you in a way that God knows you. And they don't agree with what God has for you. Then they can't be around you if you're serving God. And I believe you are. And if they're serving the same God, they will want what God wants for anybody. Would you understand? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So as you say, who in here? <laughs> this is what you say. I know you don't always know what to say. This is what you say. You don't say sometimes, but sometimes you don't know. You don't know what to, what words to use. So here we go. This is what words you can use. Who in here, this is to all your cronies and group of whomever that don't want what God wants for you. Who in here doesn't want what God wants for my life? Because y'all all keep saying something about it. Y'all all keep discouraging me from doing it. Y'all all keep saying stuff about what God has for me that is not good. And none of it is true. So who in here doesn't want what God wants for my life? Who here doesn't want 
what God has for my destiny. Who doesn't want that? The standing here, serving here with me. Who doesn't want that? Well, I don't want it. Well, I don't like who you're saying that is. I don't like who you think that you want to rock with. I don't like <clears throat> what you're saying God said. Well, if you don't want what God wants for me, then you can't rock with me. Sorry, got to go. That happens on an everyday person level, and it surely happens in the faith community level. People can't carry that same faith for what God wants for you that you have. They can't be around you and serve around you and serve the people that you serve. They cannot. They cannot. It can't be. Because it's a disservice to the people that you are called to shepherd. That's what it is. So, again, I said, stop propping these people up. And I think you're beginning to clear the decks. But, all right, all right. Y'all don't want what God wants for me? Everybody out. Everybody out. And if none of them want it, they all go. If someone does want it and you believe them and it's really true and they've been rocking with you, because some people over there are solid with you. Some people solid with you. I see them. I know. I see more than you think I see. I know more than you think I know. And God tells me more than you think he would ever say. So I speak the truth in love. And you can do what my dad did. Who in here, who in here know, don't know Stephanie? Who in here don't believe what God said is my destiny? And who my destiny is with. Who in here don't believe that? Because if you believe it and God said it and your person believes, that's all that matters, right? And they say, well, I don't believe it. Well, I believe it. Everybody says, I, be I do believe it. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, no, you don't because you've been talking me out of it for the last however many years. You've been offering other stuff in my face to distract me from it for however many years. You don't believe it. If you believed and you was rocking with me, you would have never done that. You would encourage me to go forth with what God told me to do. Because they will try to wind their way back in, but you cannot allow it. Take the blinders off. It's a wrap. All right, I'm going to stop. I can't talk anymore. All right, I got to get ready to go to a Zoom meeting at work. Um, listen, Linda. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody out, everybody out. And then you invite into your life who you want to give a crafting and curated life that we desire here, the life that God has for us, our God-ordained existence. Because connected to the destiny, it's not just about your happiness and your love life and your this and your that. It's not even about how it looks or how y'all look or, or if it's if it's the so-called societal norm standard, what the people are supposed to look like or what background they're supposed to have or what pedigree or what. It's not even about none of that. It's not about any of that. It's about the people you're divinely assigned to help in this world that God has that are going to enter your path once you do what he says. Once you get lined up in the space he lined you up in that you keep not trying not to be in, you're trying to be in it, people trying to pull you out of line. They're out of line, okay? They got to go. We don't take line jumpers at the amusement park, do we? <laughs> they got to get kicked out the park. These line jumpers or people who are trying to pull you out of line, they're not allowed to do that. Don't allow it. And once you get lined up where you're supposed to be, God's going to open the destiny of amazing blessings for so many people around the world that you don't even know. They know that God promised them something amazing through somebody amazing and in a way that they could never hope, dream or imagine. But it's coming and they're standing on the faith of God and God's word for their life. And you who are connected to their future destiny, blessings or direction are standing here letting people pull you out of line and where God lined you up to do. So therefore you're delaying your blessing and it's not about you. It's not about your love life and about who you connect with. Yeah, it's about that, but it's bigger than you. So all the dragon feet on your own part, scuffing shoes on your own part or people pulling you out of line or trying to distract you from it. It is delaying people's destiny. And if someone misses their divine timing and the destiny, it could be too late. And maybe God will assign a replacement like he would assign a replacement for you if you don't show up for this. It still is not in his perfect will. And you messed it up. Not just for you, not just for the people that's trying to use you. We feel bad about, don't feel bad about them. They're trying to use you. Feel bad about the people who are not trying to use you that you don't even know that God has assigned you a place in their life to bless them. You don't even have to know them in order to bless them. But he is going to, 
put together such a big something that is going to bless so many people. And it's not even just financial, just in, in your story and in, in sharing about your life and sharing what you've overcome um, and teaching people how to do what you've now done to escape the matrix. <laughs> I mean, there are people who are waiting for you, even unborn people that are waiting for you. Your own family, your own um, uh, seed from your family, your your own lineage, your generations behind you are waiting. And, they're, and the, the, the people that they're going to have as children and their children, your children's children's children are waiting. They don't even exist yet. And they're waiting. They existed in the, the mind's eye of God. They exist in, in God and, and his plan. But they're not even on the earth yet. And what you're doing now is thwarting the blessings of your destiny. Children's 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 children. And anything beyond that. So if you don't want to think about other people that, you know, are just out there that God said he's going to use you to bless them in a certain way. Think about your own lineage. People that came from your loins, whether you claim them or not, claim them all. Because they all got a destiny on them. And you not doing what you're supposed to do is messing things up for them down the line. Break the generational curse today. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I'm talking to one person, but I might be talking to some other people too. Just shut it down. We're doing a new thing. God's doing a new thing. And it is going to rise up so many wonderful things for so many people when they get out of the matrix. Get out of that old way of thinking. That that um that conjured up way of thinking right that that um societal norm that familial norm that that thing that we've just always done it this way and they pass down the same old nastiness to the next generation pass it to your generation you're gonna pass it to your your kids and your kids kids because you didn't break the cycle it's up to you to break the cycle god put you here to break the cycle you are not a go with the uh norm kind of person he didn't create you to be that although you've been doing that sometimes but you know you are here to break the mold so break the mold dog on it let's go <laughs> glory to god for all that are um hearing this today or whenever you're hearing it and, and prayerfully i pray i believe god i believe god that you're going to do what thus saith the lord and all of those people in the downline of your family and in the generations of many others that are not even related to you, don't know you will never meet you, but the blessings that you offer to others that offer blessings to others that offer blessings to their people and their people and their people or blessings you offer to pastors and their small churches because they got a good word, but they don't have the reach. You're going to offer that, right? Your streaming service is going to offer that. There's so much. I mean, there's, I can't even talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. No I want to talk about it when you come talk to me about it. And that one conversation is going to change your life. It's going to change your destiny. It's going to change your way of thinking. It's going to change your outlook on everything and everyone that you know and that you've always known and that's been hammered into your head that you should believe and you will be free. You see the other video I had where I said, <laughs> I was talking about riding the rails and my son got to blow the train horn. Boom, 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 boom. I'm free. You free. I'm free. No longer bound. No people holding me. You can't control me. I believe God. I'm walking into my, I'm running into my destiny. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, blow that train horn. Let's go, man. This train's leaving the station. And I don't know what you're doing. But I sure hope you get on the, on the train so we can go. Because I don't want nobody else to, uh, co-pilot that train with me i wanted you so let's go all right i want what god said and i believe god and i hope you do too all right you guys it's stephanie saw with the traffic lady and we're in how we flow dot today tv and i'm so excited to have had this time together carol burnett says oh uh, almost at an hour and 30 minutes i was just getting on for a couple of minutes but god said i had to say some things is that you calling me now? Anyway, God said I had to say some things. And so I had to say some things. I don't like it. I don't want to talk about it. But I do what must be done. Because I believe God. I'm obedient to him. And I hope you will be too. 
All right, you guys. All right, my love. I posted uh, Endless Love with Lionel Richie and Diana Ross. Two hearts, two hearts that beat as one. Our lives have just begun. <sighs> Look up the lyrics to Endless Love. That was from that movie, Endless Love with Brooke Shields. <laughs> I met Brooke Shields <clears throat> back at QVC. I was working at QVC and um, she was on there to sell some products or something. And I was modeling clothes or jewelry. I think I was modeling jewelry or something. And, um, you know, she, she was watching the show before her time was to come. And then uh, I was done the jewelry show and it was time for me to go back to work backstage and do other stuff. And so I was working on the set behind stage and setting up some stuff. And she came walking back through. She's like, I just saw you on TV. This is Brooke Shields. <laughs> I just saw you on TV. I'm like, Brooke Shields, you just saw me on TV? What? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, I just saw you. Oh, no, 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 no. you know, whatever. But uh, funny, right? So Brooke Shields, that made me think of, of that moment. Brooke Shields movie, Endless Love, right? Uh, back in the, I don't even know when that came out. Two kids on an island, stranded on an island, and they had Endless Love. But the Endless Love theme song was Lionel Richie and Diana Ross originally sang that. All right. So two hearts that beat as one. Our lives have just begun. Forever, I'll hold you close in my arms. Let me see if I find the lyrics. I can't resist your charms. Um, oh, here it goes. My love, there's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. That's what Lionel Richie said. So you say that to your person. Go get the lyrics for Endless Love duet. My love, Lionel Richie says, there's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. And your person says, Diana Ross, my first love, you're every breath that I take. You're every step I make. And then they sing together. And I, 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 I want to share. I think Lionel says this. All my love with you. No one else will do. No one else will do. So I don't even know how you drag your feet. And your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, they tell me how much you care. Oh, yes, you will always be my endless love. You'll always be my endless love. Do, 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 do. This is a good duet. Really great duet. And then they sing two hearts, two hearts that beat as was lyrics. We're living the lyrics, endless love lyrics. Our lives have just begun forever oh 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 i'll hold you close in my arms i can't resist your charms so y'all say that to each other you say it to your person person says to you and love oh love i'll be a fool for you i'm sure you know i don't mind you know i don't mind because you you mean the world to me oh I know, I know, I found, I found in you my endless love. Oh, boom, boom. Remember uh, yesterday's video we were talking about, and my heart go boom, 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 on the Chardonnay. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, love is found. So now they're saying, oh, boom, 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 boom. So now that I look at that, I think that's like their hearts beating. Heart's beating, boom, 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 boom. Charday said, "And my heart go boom, 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 boom." Your heart's beating, strong and fast when you're with your person, even when you're in their vicinity or you think about them, right? So come on to the endless love, and they did boom, 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 and they said, "Oh, and love, oh love, I'll be that fool for you, I'm sure." You know I don't mind. Oh, you know I don't mind. And yes, you'll be the only one. Cause no one can deny this love I have inside. And I'll give it all to you. My love, my love, my love, my endless love. Lionel Richie uh, wrote that song. And Diana Ross and Lionel Richie sang it. I don't want to get a copyright strike again, so... Yesterday, I, I, I played uh, in the video, it was um, Through the Fire, Shaka Khan. We're living those lyrics. And then it was um, Love is Found. That was Day. Got a copyright strike playing that one. <laughs> and and then it was another Day, which was, um, what was the other one? Love is Found and, oh, goodness, what was the last one? Oh, By Your Side. 
So the three titles together, the Shaka Khan, the Sade, the Sade, the three titles together are Through the Fire, um, Love is Found by Your Side. Yeah. Through the Fire, Love is Found by Your Side. That's the name of the video from yesterday. Through the Fire, Love is Found by Your Side. So we've been through the fire. And that's when the love was found. And where is the love? Right by your side. Right by your side. So I'm here to help. So that was one I posted on the Twitter space at ATL Traffic Lady. The other one, let's see. We know we live the lyrics. We live the love lyrics, baby. It's Friday, love song day. You better get some love while you can. Stop playing with me. For God give your love away. <laughs> I'll take your boy away. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a video talking about that. My, that's what I was doing. The I think that was a quick little video about the um, when the eclipse came out recently, and uh, I posted a video that I used the calendar to see the eclipse instead of looking. I had eclipse glasses, but somewhere in that, I was telling a story about uh, what the, my nephew said <laughs> to my mom uh, when he was a little kid, because you know. He was her. He was her boy. He was her her grandson, and she he, and she wanted him to do something, and he didn't, he didn't feel like doing it at the time. And and she said, "Okay, well that's all right. You don't want to do so and so. Then I'll get me a new boy." She said. She played with him, and he said, under his breath, "I'll take your boy away." <laughs> so I'll take your boy away. We don't take no boy away. You ain't gonna get no new. Whatever somebody think they're gonna take your take your girl away, they can't destiny swap. It's a wrap, right? I'll give it all to you, my love, my love, my endless love. Oh boy, everything reminds me of everything. And I'm like, what was I talking about? I forgot. Anyway, oh, let's see. Lastly, uh, through the fire, love is found by your side. Remember that. Through the fire, and all this mess, love is still found right here by your side remember that okay i need you to remember these things do you remember all right i'm trying to find this other thing i posted what did i post let me find my profile here i'm on the twitter at atl traffic lady also yesterday i went all over the flow streaming service and some of the programming on there and all how you find it how you download it so please check that out. Again, it's Through the Fire, Love is Found by Your Side is the name of the video on um, YouTube under the channel Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL traffic lady. All right, let's see. What did I post? What did I post? I posted all this traffic stuff this morning. I'm finding this love song I put. There was a truck out there on the side at the end of the rush hour, right about 10 o'clock on Andrew Young International Boulevard, right at the downtown connector. A truck laying on its side. You'll see that. I posted that. That was from the... Uh, 511 Georgia at 511 Georgia on their traffic cameras too. Uh, okay, so Endless Love with Diana Ross and Lionel Richie. And also, oh, Bobby Caldwell, What You Won't Do for Love. What you won't do for love. What won't you do for love? You tried everything, but you won't give up. Uh, did I post any more? I'm going to play that on the way out. Hopefully they won't copyright strike me. We're doing education commentary all right we're under the fair use act with what you won't do for love and bobby caldwell i'm here to teach people help people and level up because i believe in god 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 um was there any more i don't think i have any more yeah i only just did those two today so let's play bobby caldwell what you won't do for love. Ask yourself, what what won't you do for love? I mean, for, for true love. Not no fake love. Not no backstabbing love. Not no shanking your love. Not no, uh, I don't know, I say not no, ain't no. I know how to speak perfectly proper. But some things require a little bit of that. <laughs> a little of that jargon. Just so you know how I really feel. Ain't no this and that. I was showing you about the flow. I'm like, stop playing with me about this streaming service. What are you doing? This is a whole real big thing. Stop playing with me. Go watch that video. Um, through the fire. Love is found by your side. I review the flow streaming service. All right, let's go back to Bobby Caldwell. 
What You Won't Do For Love, the lyric video, in case you don't know the song or don't know the lyrics, we live the lyrics in love, okay? And I want you, if you don't have the words to express how you feel, find some love songs and you'll find it. The lyrics for some of these songs are going to express exactly how you feel, okay? So let me see if I can get this pulled up here for you. I guess you wonder where I've been. All right, let me, I'm going to mute myself once I pull it up, okay? And then, and then, and then we will level up into our destiny and level everyone else into their destinies and so on and so on and so on. Level your your downline of your family into the upgraded destiny, the one that God really has for them when you give them the fullness thereof of yourself and of their acknowledgement publicly. You know what I mean? It's so important. Um, let me see. Bobby Caldwell. All right. I'm sharing this here. And I'm going to rock out after this. Let me see how I can make this look like something. Bobby Caldwell, what you won't do for love with the lyrics showing in the video. All right. So think about it. I'm doing it all for love. I'm laying it all on the line, honey. Shaka Khan said, I gladly risk it all. Right down to the wire, even through the fire. We're down to the wire. You either going to let the destiny swap work or you're going to stop it at all costs. What you going to do? What you going to do? <laughs> I hope you do the right thing. Always do the, what Spike Lee say, always do the right thing in this movie. Do the right thing. All right, here's Bobby, Cal Bobby Caldwell. What you won't do for love. Let's live these lyrics, okay? What won't you do for love? Let's see what you won't do. Because what, what does it say? What one man do, another man will. <laughs> what one man won't do, another man will. So we don't want another man. We're just trying to get it, get it done right here and now. Amen. All right, here's Bobby Caldwell. You wonder where I've been I search to find the love within I came back to let you know Got a thing for you And I can't let go My friends wonder what is wrong with me Well, I'm in a day from your love, you see I came back to let you know Got a thing for you And I can't let go Your friends wonder what is wrong with you. <laughs> Why are you all spaced out? Well, I'm in the days from your love, you see, he said. And now it's time for you to come back and let your person know you got a thing for them and you can't let go. Some people go around the world for love, but they may never find what they dream. I couldn't help sing what they dream of, of, of what you won't do, do for love. All right, I'm going to go back to Bobby. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. I couldn't help it. I got to sing. All right, let's go to my friends wonder what is wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Your friends are asking you. I know you in a daze. Stunned in a daze. Had the whole street set ablaze. <laughs> saw a young boy cut a look at me. Yeah, I saw this young boy cut a look at me. Not long ago. That was another song um, by Sade. Uh, the, the songs are, uh, the lyrics are, um, let's see. Uh, we were waiting for the bus. I forget which video I got this on. It was a while back. No one much around but us. So we were waiting in the hall. No one much around but us. Then I see this young boy cut a look at me. Cut a look at me. I was stunned in a daze. He had the whole street set ablaze. He had the whole city set ablaze when you showed up. It's love, love, they say, makes you feel this way. She liked his eyes. She wanted more. 
do 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 right do 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 for sure he oh that's that's the name of the video he saw a lovely girl smelling sweet and soapy like fresh air look for that video on 70 stall with your atl traffic lady youtube channel he saw a lovely girl smelling sweet and soapy like fresh air he started looking acting oh she started she saw him looking that's what it is. she saw him looking acted like she didn't care but that's how we knew <laughs> and so love grew right um so i i caught this young boy cut a look at me at your place of business we were out there in the front everybody's out there watching people uh wade in the water and all of that and i'm i'm watching uh all of the uh joy that goes with that and i knew you were over there and i looked over there to see if you were still standing there and you were looking dead at me and you cut away as fast as i looked at you you looked away and i'm like he was just looking right at me but he still won't say anything to me so i looked away and then when i looked back not but a couple few seconds after that maybe 10 seconds after that i looked back and you was gone like where you go you can't just look and not talk you got to talk baby talk to me all right let's go back to bobby caldwell <laughs> i digressed all the way into chardé uh i see this young boy cut a look at me you ain't that young you ain't much younger than me only a little bit cut the look at me right um, my friends, you're, you're saying this part, my friends wonder what is wrong with me? Well, I'm in a daze from your love, you see, but they don't want me to be. Your friends don't want you to be right. But you want to do what they'll say at the Lord and what your real feelings really say. You could do something cause you've been doing it forever, or you could do something cause you really feel the feelings, right? The emotions are there, not just the, the motions, not just the motions going through the motions, which I think you're doing now. But the emotions are there. And we have the emotion there, the true, uh, with your, you think Shrek is your one true love, with your true love, it's a whole different thing than just going through the motions, right? All right, I digress so far. I gotta end this, I, I gotta go. I gotta go to the Zoom meeting. So here's the rest of this. Uh, my friends wonder what is wrong with me. From your love, my friends wonder what is wrong with me. Well, I'm in a daze from your love, you see.
cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. All right. What won't you do for love? You tried everything. But you won't give up. In my world, only you make me do for love what I would not. This is what you wouldn't normally do. You're doing stuff you, for love what you wouldn't normally do. You're willing to do stuff for, for your one true love that you wouldn't normally do. They're like, the, the one you're going through the motions with, why won't they feel that way for me? Why won't they do that for me? Because you're just going through the motions. You're not going, you're not feeling the emotions with them. So Bobby Caldwell said, make me do for love what I would not do. Everybody's like, why is he acting like that for, for that person? We got to break that thing up. <laughs> anyway, I got to go, you guys. I love you so much. God bless you. But check out Between the Lions cliffhanger. This is the last cliffhanger. What's that mean? Let me see. Let's play this. Hey now. Hey wow. Here's how. Come meet. This between the lines. I think it's the whole episode. But I love this show. The kids love this show too. World of Weights in these books. I want you to be the last cliffhanger. You're going to break the back of every cliffhanging entity that makes people hang off a cliff. You're going to change the trajectory of so many lives. You're the last cliffhanger and you can't hold on much longer. You got to check out Between the Lines. So we're not going to really play this whole thing, but let's hear the, this opening entry scene. I love this show. <laughs> Leona, Leona, guess what? Guess what? What? The great Livingston Dangerously has written a new cliffhanger book, and it's coming out today. Oh, my love, you ain't over my tummy. Well, my you don't seem very excited. So well, why not? It, it, it's just because I don't get why you like cliffhangers so much. I mean, every story's exactly the same. In the beginning, he's hanging from the cliff, and in the end, he's hanging from the cliff. The, 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 the middle is different. It's always different. And he's so... <sighs> Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. When you see a flying rug, jump on the rug. What luck! Ed, bed. Has intrepid cliffhanger made his escape at last? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can't. And that's why oh, he's oh, oh much longer. And where is he at the end? Back on the cliff. Livingston dangerously is a genius. Well, I'm really tired of seeing you on the cliff cliff again and again and again and again continually on the cliff so let's flip the switch and make that change make that change come on oh man in the mirror come on michael jackson uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. come on change Make that change. <laughs> uh, this is the last cliffhanger. This video is called, How Are You Interpreting These Things? 
And I'm prayerful that you heard everything I had to say. I, I don't even want to be on here today. And I'm on here so long. How long? An hour and 54 minutes. What? I'm supposed to be on here 15 minutes. That's what I said. But God said something else. So save this video. Come back and look at it again later. And again and again and again. John Legend said again and again and again. Come on. I'm ready for some again and again and again. Stop playing with me. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you soon. I might come to that thing tonight. And uh, I'll see you then. All right. Love you guys. God bless you. Love hugs, pats, all of that. All of that. All of that. And no more cliffhanging for you, baby. It's time for you to live. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Come on. I hear some Jonathan Nelson singing on Sunday. Live, 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 live. <laughs> Come on. Win, 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 win. <laughs> Sooner or later, it is It is now. <laughs> it's turned in your favor. It's already turned around. You just got to walk into it. Walk in the blessing. Stand up in that thing, okay? Stop playing with me and let's go. I'm ready. I'm waiting long enough, all right? Don't be rude and keep the person waiting. That's just not right. It's just not right. And don't send me no protocols and no layers of, of protection and people and ownership of you. I need just to talk to you directly. So you tell everybody, tell your person, I need to speak with you directly. Don't let people just put you off. That's enough. Enough of that, right? <laughs> you don't do anything. You didn't do anything to, to deserve being put off. You are well-intentioned individuals, you guys here in the group. So why do people put you off? It's because something about them isn't, isn't on point. It's not about you. And I know it's not about me but I'm trying to help you through whatever it's about for you, okay? And that's why we're here on How We Flow Dot Today TV. We're between the lions with the last cliffhanger. Love you so much. God bless you. Love, hugs, pats, and all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that here on How We Flow Dot Today. So check out our streaming network, How We Flow Dot Today TV on the Flow Streaming Service. Go to the flow.lightcast.com. That's our web app. We put that up there so you can get that in your system. Take a picture of it, screenshot, or just go to it and save it in your phone. Uh, then you can go ahead after that and download all of the apps for the flow on all of your streaming devices. So again, it's on the bottom of your screen, the flow.lightcast.com. That's our web app, not a website, it's a web app. And when you go there and you click the little uh, drop down thing and you see apps, APPS, click on APPS and it'll show you the link to download the Roku app on your Roku device, to download the Fire Stick Fire TV app on your Fire Stick device, Fire TV uh, device. It'll show you the link to download your Apple TV app for your Apple TV box. It'll show you the link to, uh, to the App Store to download your Apple or your iOS mobile app device for the flow and your Google Play Store for the Android mobile app for the flow. You can catch us everywhere, all places at all times. And again, we're at the ground floor. The platform's too big because we're growing into it. And I want you to be part of the growth. All right. All right. Dr. Brian, I need you to be part of this. There's something God said you only can do. And I need to talk to you about it. If anyone's watching this and you're in his ownership levels, please tell him. <laughs> Or if you're not in his ownership levels trying to thwart him and you are on his side, please tell him. Either way, please tell him. And if you're watching this yourself, Dr. Bryant, consider yourself told. And I'm waiting to hear from you. All right. Love you. God bless you. It's how we flow. Dot today TV. And hey, you're not late. You are right where you need to be. Let's start right where we are. And we'll move into our divine destiny together we'll do it together we're gonna do it together say it together we're gonna do it together we're gonna do it together we're gonna do it together let's do it together together all right you guys um i'm signing off it's over and out over and out my golly let's go get the music back up and uh yeah love hugs pass all of that mm -mm, i love you guys so much God bless you. I'm waiting to hear from you. Uh, if I can help you with anything, uh, you want me to talk about specific things in the community, hit me up on Instagram at How We Float Out Today or at um, ATL Traffic Lady or at The Flow Television, D O T C O M dot com. And I'll check out your DMs and uh, see how we can implement 
any of the content you're interested in learning about or areas you want to grow and improve in your life here into the How We Flow Out Today community. Because if you need that, there's going to be other people. We're never the only one that needs some help. We're never the only one going through something. We're never the only one. And the, the sooner we go through it and persevere and overcome it and have a testimony to come out of it, the sooner you can help somebody else who's in that same predicament that thinks they're the only one. We're never the only one. So you're not the only one. And as soon as you come up out of it, as soon as you do what God says, the sooner you can help those other people who think they're the only one. The sooner you can be the destiny helper for people whose destiny God said that you're supposed to affect. You're the blessing to them. They just know God said someone's going to bless you and they're standing there faithfully waiting because they believe God like I do. And I want you to believe God more than you believe the naysayers, more than you believe the people around you, more than you believe family and friends, more than you believe co-workers, more than you believe manipulators, more than you believe backstabbers, more than you believe destiny swappers, more than you believe spellers, magic workers, dark magic people, uh, whatever people do. More than you believe anybody else, you should believe God. More than, we, more than you believe yourself, you should believe God because sometimes we can fool ourselves. And I'm saying I'm exempt from that either. I'm not perfect. But guess what? I believe God. I'm standing on faith on that thing. And that's what I'm hoping you'll do today too. Thanks for joining me today in How We Flow Dot Today TV. The video is called, um, How Are You Interpreting These Things? Jot it down in the comments. Let me know what you're interpreting and how you're interpreting it and how I can help. I'm here to help. I'm happy to help. Love you so much. Okay. Love you. God bless you. Love hugs, pats, all of that, all of that. Give me your hard eyes. Give me hard eyes back. Pray for me. I'm praying for you. Talk to me. I'm talking to you. One day I'm going to be able to talk to you, uh, my person, without having to talk through a video on a public platform. That's my prayer. This is my prayer. <laughs> if you were mine, Charlie. All right. Love you. God bless you. I'm rapping. It's a wrap. Uh, I want to go into my weekend and go have some fun. So uh, rest, have faith, and let's walk into our destiny. No more hanging on a cliff, baby. No more hanging on a cliff. Love you. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video. But in fact, I hope I see you sooner. All right. Love you. God bless you. See you soon. Bye.